And picking and shelling of the peas was once the only way to gather in this delicate crop, and large gangs of labourers were required to harvest it, but mechanisation was soon on the horizon. One of the earliest cutting devices was this machine, made by Leveritons of Lincolnshire. It consisted of torpedo-shaped separators mounted on the front of a tractor with a cutter bar on the back. The torpedoes lifted and separated the crop ready for the knife. Later developments made use of a wider knife, complete with a combine type reel, and were made by companies such as Leverton's, Boom and McBain. This is a preserved McBain. It's quite early in the morning and the peas are still coming off the field. Although this field near Laxfield in Suffolk is not far from completion. All three viners are once again on the go and come down the field in formation. The large lumps of pea horn are a giveaway to the fact that a viner has paused for some reason while harvesting, leading to a build-up of waste. This is a nice thick crop and is what the pea fields usually look like in a normal season. Unfortunately, the yield is still much lower than usual. Even though this field has not been finished, it is decided that the peas are not quite full enough and that a move on to another field is necessary. So the last hopper loads of peas are emptied, the harvesters are cleaned down and prepared for the move. Once everything is ready, the harvesters switch on their headlights, the pickup drives down the road and the viners follow, across the field at first and then on the road. The 979AT draws up beside us and the repair soon begins. The fault is traced to a burst hydraulic pipe right up on top of the machine near the holding hopper. The driver lends a hand right up on the very top of the viner and the problematic pipe is soon located. Removing it, however, proves to be a bit more of a mission. Eventually, after a bit of work, the offending pipe is removed. Not easy work when you remember that this pipe had very hot oil running through it only a few minutes ago. The generator on the front of the mobile workshop is then fired up, and the end of a new replacement pipe is made ready. A coupler has to be fitted so that it will join up with that still on the harvester. This is when having a fully equipped workshop on site really comes into its own. The appropriate parts are located, the pipe measured against the old one to make sure it will fit, and then an electric grinder used to cut it to length. The pipe is then ready to have new connectors fitted, which in itself is quite an operation, with the pipe having to be constricted for it to fit. Luckily, the 979AT driver is only too glad to render assistance, and the job is soon sorted, with both ends of the pipe ready in no time at all. Then it's off back to the top of the harvester to refit the new pipe. Time is of the essence, as with one viner down, the amount of crop the team is lifting and delivering to the factory is not keeping up with the planned timetable. Because of having this type of on-site repair service available, downtime can be kept to a minimum. It is early evening near the small village of Hempnall in Norfolk, and we catch up with the Orange team for one final time, as the day shift changes over with the night shift ready to work on through the night. <laughs> 